everyone, Kaylee here. So I'm interrupting my Disney princesses for a fantasy inspired hairstyle. More appropriately, a Game of Thrones inspired hairstyle. I have done a couple of Game of Thrones hairstyles before, and I will link those in the description box if you haven't seen them already. I saw a picture of this one and it just blew my mind. And one of the things that I love about this was just like the scale of it. I loved kind of the grandioseness that it had to it. Um, and part of that really is just the amount of hair that went into this updo. So to capture the scale of the hairstyle, I decided to use Kinecolon hair. This is braiding hair. It's typically used for like cornrows and twists and those kind of things. Um, but today we're just going to use it very simply to add length and volume to our hair. It's also very inexpensive. It's about one to three dollars a bundle. Depending on where you buy it, you can buy it at Sally's or your local beauty supply store. And what I did with this was just to run some baby powder through it just to cut down like the fake hair shine. It's still a little bit more shiny than my hair is, but the baby powder definitely helps. You know, puff it on, brush it through, you're good to go. And the only other thing I did was to split all the packs in half so I could work with a half at a time. And I felt like that was a lot easier to do and it made more sense. It looked more realistic. Um, all you have to do is take the little rubber band out of the middle, split it in half, and put a rubber band on each side, and you're good to go. So that's it. That's the hair that I used. And let's just go ahead and get into the tutorial. So the first thing you're going to do is to make two ponytails. The first one is going to be just a couple inches back from your hairline, and it's just going to be around the top of your head. So you can see it's just a couple inches thick here, and it really just gets the hair from kind of the crown of my head. So I'm brushing it, smoothing it, and then putting it into a ponytail. Then I'm going to throw that ponytail over my face so that I can get to the hair behind it. Then you're going to make the same size ponytail just underneath the previous one. So it's just going to be like 3 inches thick, pull the hair all together and pull that into a ponytail. And then I'm just putting the ponytail into a bun because this ponytail is one of the very last things we're going to deal with in this hairstyle. So I just wanted to get the hair out of the way. You could also put it into a clip if you want to as well. And now we're going to deal with the hair that's in front of the ears. You're going to start with a center part, and then you're going to make a rope braid on either side of your part by taking a small section right next to that center part, and then just rope braiding back. And basically you just have to go a couple of inches, just long enough that it reaches the elastic from our top ponytail. So then once you've got it long enough, just go ahead and drape it so that it makes this kind of arced shape. And then you're just going to pin it right over that elastic. Then you're going to repeat the same thing on the other side by taking your small section, rope braiding it, and then pinning it over your elastic. And now all we have to do is pin the hair from the front. So we're going to take all the hair from in front of our ears on one side and then sweep it back so that it makes kind of an arced shape that mimics the shape of the braid. And then you're just going to pin it back just behind the ear. All of the braids that we end up pinning later are going to completely cover these bobby pins, so it doesn't really matter too much where you pin these. Then you're going to do the same thing on the other side. Just grab the hair from in front of your ears and then sweep it back and pin it in place. And now we're going to create three uber braids. So you're going to grab the rest of the hair from behind your ears and then you're going to grab the hair that we pinned back but just like after the bobby pin so that you have basically all the hair that's left from behind your ears. And we're going to use that for the braid. But we're also adding in our Kinecolon so that we can have tons of hair. So for this one, this is a rope braid on your left side. So I'm just splitting the hair in two and splitting the Kinecolon in two and then just creating a rope braid with that. Basically, you're just going to rope braid all the way down the hair until you have about six to eight inches left. Then we're going to add on more Kinecolon. So I'm grabbing that Kinecolon and just putting that in with the sections I already have and then continuing to rope braid all the way down that hair again so that you have like the longest braid that you've ever experienced in your life. Now I'm going to take the same section on the other side. So I'm taking the hair that we pinned back and all of the hair that was left from behind the ears. And on this side we're making a normal braid. So I'm splitting my Kinecolon into three just so that that makes it a little bit easier for me. And then I'm going to put it with the hair that we left out and split that into three as well so that we have three sections to braid with. So then I'm just doing a normal braid all the way down the hair until I have about six inches left again. And then I'm going to add in more Kinecolon at the end. And of course, I'm going to split the hair into three before adding it in just because that makes it a little bit easier for me. And then I'm just matching up the three sections together and then I'm continuing to braid until I reach the end of the hair. Then of course you secure it with an elastic. Now we just have one more braid which is the top ponytail. So you're going to grab all the hair from the top ponytail and another little half section of Kinecolon, split that all into three and then just braid that all the way down. We're only using one section of Kinecolon for this so once you braid all the way down just go ahead and secure it with an elastic. 
And now it's just time to pin everything together, which is kind of the fun part. So you're going to create a bun with the braid that we have on top and make sure that when the braid comes around the front that you have it standing on its end so that you can see the braid entirely, just like I have here. And then you would just wanna wrap around the back and tuck the end underneath the braid. Then we're going to pin as many times as you need to to hold this in place. This actually didn't need too many bobby pins for me, but if you need a lot, no judgment. Now it's time for the long braids. We're going to start with the rope braid and it's going to go around the back underneath the normal braid. Then you're going to bring it on top and over the bun and it should sit just in the middle of the bun that we just made. Then you're going to take a little break and stick a ton of bobby pins in this to make sure that it stays in place really, really well. Then finish this braid off by bringing the rope braid right around to where it started and pin it in place there as well. Now for our normal braid, we're going to also bring that around the back, but this time it's going to go on the inside of the rope braid that we already pinned. Then you're also going to bring it on top of the bun, keeping it on the inside of the rope braid. And once you have it on top, use a couple bobby pins to hold that in place. Then finish the braid off by bringing it back to where it started and pin it in place there as well. Then I'm going to bring both of the braids to the middle and pin them in the middle. And once they've been pinned in the middle of my head, I'm going to take the elastics out of the end and allow them to unravel. Once they've unraveled, I'm going to split that hair in half and bring it over my shoulders. We'll use this later for the rope braids. And now we're going to fill up the hole in the middle of the braids with a bun. So you're going to take all the hair down from that ponytail that we pinned up and grab your last little bit of Kinecolon and a ribbon if you want to. And then I went ahead and bobby pinned those two things together and then used that bobby pin to also anchor the Kinecolon into the base of my ponytail. Then you're going to take all of this hair and split it in half and very loosely wrap the two halves around each other. This kind of ends up giving it this cool, almost rosette look once we wrap it into the bun, but you do want to make sure that this is wrapped very loosely and that you can see the ribbon throughout the hair. Then all that's left to do is to wrap it into the shape of a bun. Because this is a lot of hair, I made sure to stop fairly frequently and use a lot of bobby pins to make sure everything was held in place. You also want to make sure that this is completely filling up the space between the braids. So if you need to kind of pull the hair apart to make it look more voluminous, do that. The great thing about Kinecolon is that it will fill out to fit the space that you need it to. Once you have everything pinned, if you have any ribbon hanging out like I did, you can also wrap that around inside the braids and around the bun to create the exact look that you want it to have. Once that is done, your bun is complete and we just have the last two braids. All you have to do for this is rope braid each of the sides that we've already split in half. And what I did was to rope braid until I had just a couple of inches left and then I used a bobby pin to secure the end. And all I did for that was just to literally stick the bobby pin through the middle of the braid. And the great thing about that is that you can't see how it's like closed off at the end, just like the original hairstyle. But you could use elastics or teasing if you're more comfortable with that. So that's it for this hairstyle. I know that it has a lot of extra hair in it, but I feel like the techniques themselves aren't too difficult. So you should definitely give it a try if you want to. It was a lot of fun for me to do this. I really, really loved it and I felt so regal once I had this hairstyle and it was kind of amazing. So I hope you guys enjoyed this and I hope you come back on Sunday for my next princess hairstyle. I'll see you then. Mwah. Bye.